happening? Karma Cakes here, and I'm bringing you another episode of the Tree 8 server. I am so glad to finally be back and recording regularly. This, this is awesome. I can't even say regularly. Okay. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy my last video, which was a tour of the super duper chunk, which I was able to build, but unfortunately I haven't been able to record any of these cool things. So now I'm finally back to recording and showing you all that I have planned. So I've got a few boxes around here filled with some stuff. I've got some gravel from all of my friends. Let's see, we got some from Ash and from Kendi. And I know this one's from the dog miner, but um, it doesn't have gravel in it anymore. It actually has some materials we're gonna be using, which is yellow concrete powder. I sat here making up a ton of concrete powder for us to use. Um, I've also got some yellow clay somewhere here. Uh, at least I thought I did. Oh, you know what? It's over here already. It is yellow terracotta. That's what I meant. I always call it clay still. Um, let's see. I've also got some yellow wool, some more yellow concrete powder, more terracotta. Uh, lots more material, some smooth sandstone and everything. So, can you guess what color we're going to be using to uh, build something? It's yellow. <laughs> so, um, if you guys have never heard the Beatles song, Yellow Submarine, go look it up. It is absolutely one of my favorite songs. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what we're going to be building. So, go check out the Beatles video, Yellow Submarine. And then you'll have some idea. Um, I actually, I'm going to put a little picture up on the screen. I built this in creative. Um, what I actually did was I drew it out on some graph paper and fixed it so that I can build it in Minecraft. And then I went and spent like almost an entire day building it in creative mode to see if I could actually do it and see if it could come out looking right. That is what we're going to be building on the Tree 8 server. Now, I've got a place for it. I want it to be right in this area here, um, kind of going down to the ocean bottom. So, that should be interesting. I'm going to see how low it actually needs to go because I do kind of want some of it sticking out of the water so that when you come in here, you see this giant submarine with just like the top bits coming out of the water the rest of it all underwater which is going to be very interesting trying to build all of this underwater now i was kind of worried about how i'm going to transform all of this yellow concrete powder into um concrete like uh, this because <laughs> this is actually what i want to use but then i remembered that we're going to be building underwater so that kind of takes care of that problem on our own. Like every block we place, it'll automatically turn to concrete, right? So I'm hoping this should be fairly easy. I'm not really sure. And I don't normally um, take things I built in creative and build them in survival. So I normally don't build in creative at all. But I really wanted to practice on this. And... So now that I know what, how I want it to look, um, it's just a matter of building it. Sorry, Sea Turtle Paradise is over here overflowing. We've, we've definitely got to kill some turtles because it's kind of getting ridiculous. So this is the plan, guys. I want to build a yellow submarine, and I think it's just time to get started. I know I've got a lot more materials that I'm going to have to mine for, like some more um, sand and things like that. I don't know if I'm going to have to make more gravel or I mean, concrete, but I probably will. And, of course, yellow wool. I came over here and um, dyed a lot of my sheep yellow just for this occasion so that we have yellow wool and I don't have to keep dyeing regular wool because, well, dye is expensive. So, hopefully this will be enough sheep to get us by and we can just get wool from them. So, you got a lot of black and yellow going on here. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. I think we're ready to get started. So, do you know what time it is? I'm so excited. This is the first time in a long time I've got to do this. All right. Grab your popcorn. Grab your snacks. And let's hit that.
us to take a break for now. Um, so it doesn't really look like we got a lot done, but in reality, we really did. And I'm sorry for the really terrible time lapse video. Um, I noticed on my camera account that you're not exactly seeing this the same way I am underwater. And I'm not really sure what I can do to fix that, to make it clearer. But it's just kind of, there's some dark spots and things like that. Now, uh, if I go underwater, it should clear up a little bit and you'll be able to see it a little better. Um, I've got a little thing in place here, a conduit, so that I can breathe underwater. And it's supposed to help with the drown, but it hasn't been. Um, I got a lot of the frame done for this part. Um, I still have to do the windows here, and that'll be this. Um, I, I think I'll be done with the yellow concrete after I have the windows in and I finish framing them out. And then we still have the rest of the ship to do, or the rest of the submarines to do. But um, anyway, I've started adding in some sand and clearing out some of the water. So I'm going to pop up here and show you that. Um, oh, I've got a little spot over there. But um, anyway, I cleared all of this out, all of the sand and, or all the water by putting sand in here. And I'm hearing something and I think I, I'm always worried about drowns now because they drive me crazy, guys. This is so hard with having those in the water and they come up all the time. Now, some of the things you might not have seen in the time lapse um, were down here underneath the submarine I didn't want it to just be completely flat all the way across so I kind of put in this little like edging here to make it look like uh, rudders maybe underneath I, I don't know if that's the right term but I just wanted to kind of give it some depth under there and not have it be a completely flat submarine at the bottom so I did that and then of course added some outside edging as well to kind of make it look nice and over here is the front of the submarine. So this will be the front area. And I just kind of did a little decorative work here. I'm not sure if I'm going to change this and round it out a little bit more. But I'm kind of happy with it right now. Now, this right here, just this part, because I'm working underwater, um, I'm working with concrete, which actually has been working out really, really well under the water. I just place it and it goes to concrete, so that has been very, very helpful. But um, because of all the working with the sand and clearing out all the water, it has taken a lot of time just to do this little bit. And of course, it doesn't help that I'm fighting with drowned every five seconds. Like, there's one spawning in right now. And I'll show you guys. See this right here? I actually took a break for a minute. I um, Let me sleep real quick. Okay, so I actually took a break for a second, and I forgot to exit out. I, I don't know why. I hit escape, I went to disconnect, and I forgot to click it. And guess where I was? I was down here somewhere putting some sand in. I just needed a quick break. I came back, and all my stuff is gone. This is actually some backups I had in my chest here. So I'm using backups. Oh, that guy's got a, uh, a, a, a trident. And that, that's another thing. I had my trident on me, and I lost my trident. Let me get some arrows, see if I can get this guy with my bow. And try and, probably not. That doesn't really work out well, does it? I just want you to die. Give me your trident. I really, really need a trident now. Because my trident is gone and it was beautiful and it was enchanted. Yeah, I'm not going to get a trident, am I? It is really, you know, I have fought like 50 of these guys with tridents and I have not gotten a single trident. And I know on this sword I have looting three. On my other sword I had looting two. So, you would think I'd still be able to get a trident, but they're not giving them up. So, that's what I've been doing. I, I died and lost everything. 
and now I've got to get it all back because when I came back from my break I looked all of my stuff was despawned I don't even know where I was when I died I'm pretty sure I was down with that sand down there and uh yeah all my stuff's gone so it's kind of sad so I've got a lot more work to do um definitely gonna do another time lapse so that I can get some more of this done um I think I'll leave out like all the sand and waterworks because that was just, yeah, nobody wants to see all that work. So, um, I've got that all going on and now I've got to go and get all my stuff back because yeah, we're, we're working with like minimal stuff here and I, I need, I need things. I need good armor and good tools and all of that. So Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you did enjoy my videos, please do subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this one. And I will see you all next time. Bye!